I'm going to start with the binders first. My father, Dr. Ernest Withers, he is an incredible photographer. His life as a photojournalist spans more than 60 years, and we have estimated his body of work to be at least 1.8 million images. Everyone knows my father's work from civil rights. Everyone knows Dan's work from the music. He was the official photographer for Stax for two decades. But this perspective is a first. We have quite a bit of the never seen befores and they are absolutely breathtaking. It's just so touching to see everyday life children in a wooded forest looking setting and this beautiful presentation of this young girl in her pristine white in a position of prayer and it's just very elegant. When I had special time with dad when he would visit people he would always get a stack of their envelopes anyone that he visited. So it became something that he did all the time it would bother me because I, when we walk out, his chest would be full of envelopes. And of course, I didn't know what that meant at that time. I was just a kid being annoyed by her dad asking everybody for envelopes. But I can kiss him today <laughs> because those envelopes is what he used to store his negatives in. And we have envelopes from everywhere. And those envelopes are a trail of where he's been <laughs> and their story all by themselves. But it's the gift because what he wrote on those envelopes was subject matter and dates. All of this is history. And our future is to make sure that this history is shared. It's not just words on a page. It's vividly available for people to retain it in such a way that it's etched into their minds and hopefully it becomes penetration or touch of the heart, we can actually look at those examples. Our fathers, Dedrick Brittenham is my father, and Ernest Withers were very close friends. Mr. Withers had seven sons and he determined that he would name his seven sons for seven of his friends that he thought would become important Memphians. Our family's Catholic and when it was time for First Communion, Mr. Withers was going to come by the church, St. Augustine Catholic Church on Walker Avenue here in Memphis and take photographs. He was always taking photographs all over the city for many, 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 many events, all times of the day and night. Well, he didn't make it to the church that morning at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, whatever time mass was. We we're sound asleep in our beds and he came knocking at the door at about 10 p.m waking up our parents. And then they woke us up and put us all in our first communion clothes again in the middle of the night. And he came to take our photographs. So the photograph here was made in our dining room. Our mother dressed me just like I was dressed early in the morning. I believe this photograph is the first photograph that Mr. Withers must have taken that night because I'm clearly asleep in the photograph and I certainly was never an angel. <laughs> so I was not praying intently. They had taught us how to hold our hands and I'm basically asleep standing on my feet. I know that it's a repository of all of, all of our life in Memphis.